Okay, hi. Um, today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to get side quests on a Chromebook. It's pretty easy. It doesn't take that long, but um, I'm just gonna get to it. So first off, you're gonna have to have Linux um on your Chromebook. So you go to settings, search Linux, L-I-N-U-X. And I already have it on, so it'll just be like a install button or whatever. You turn that on and it'll download. And that takes a while, but it shouldn't take that long. And then when it's done, you want to go to um, sidequestvr.com and go over get sidequest. And you can't do the easy installer on Chromebook, but you have to do the advanced one. So scroll down on advanced installer until you find download for Linux. And you want to click that. And it'll download in the bottom right corner. And then you want to go to the Chrome Web Store and download Wicked Good Ar Unarchiver. Wicked Good Unarchiver, sorry. And you want to download that. And then you want to go to your files. Go to Downloads until you find SideQuest. And you want to double click it and it'll unarchive it and it'll open it as if it's like a separate device on the side. Well, it should. There. And then you want to click and drag this into Linux files. And then you want to go search and find your terminal. Now this is how you do commands. And you want to wait until it's done. Um, loading. It takes a while. Okay. When it says it's ready, I'm going to have a thing blocking this so you can't see because it says my name. Um, you want to go back and here are all the commands. Um, I might put them in the description. I don't know. The first one is cd space side quest dash 0 0.10.32 and that is probably not going to be the same for you because that's just the file name. So if you go in and check the file name, mine is sidequest-0.10.32, but yours might be different. So just cd space the file name. You know what? I'm just going to take it and, not that, and just paste it into... Never mind, it's not working. Okay. Sorry. And if it worked, you should get this blue text right here. Now you want to do that again with the next one. is ch mod u plus x space side quest. And the first one, you want to have s and q capitalized. But the second one, you don't. So don't capitalize that. But it's ch mod, under, not underscore, ch mod space u plus x space side quest. I'm going to copy it, but you might, you're probably going to have to... Tape it out. If you did it right, you should get more blue text. You go back, and the next one is sudo space apt dash get space install space lib nss3. This is probably the longest one. You take this and it into here. This one will actually do some stuff. It'll be downloading the latest version of the file. It'll say error, but it shouldn't actually, there isn't actually an error. And then the next one is the easiest one, and this is just to open the file, and it's just dot dash um, side quest, and no capitals. Take that, put it in there, and it takes a little second, but then it should just open on to the side quest app. Like that. No. My headset's downstairs, so I'm not going to go get it. But um, this red dot in the, up here in the corner, it says not detected. Now, what you're going to have to do, take it. You need a USB-C to USB-C cord. I just used the power cord that the headset came with. But you can use any USB-C to USB-C. And you plug it into the Chromebook and then into the headset. And there'll be a button that says, like, allow headset or quest to to use Linux files. You have to allow that. Then you have to go into settings, and there'll be a switch you have to flip. It, 
when you click on it, it should just bring it there. You just flip the switch, and then um, if you, it'll say the thing will be yellow. And it'll say allow and headset. You go on your headset, and there'll be a couple like warnings. If you allow those, okay. Never wait. Really quick, you are gonna have to have developer mode enabled. So that's really easy. You just find a video online how to enable developer mode. You have to have developer mode enabled to do any of this. I should have said that before, but I forgot. So, um, if developer mode's enabled, then it should do all the stuff I just said once I got in the side quest. Um, and you allow all of the warnings that pop up on the screen, and then it should work. Um, and then it, the thing up here will be green, and then you're free to just go through here, pick what any games, custom homes, mods, whatever, and just install them straight to your headset. And all you do is go into it. Go into whatever you want to download. I just clicked a random one. I don't know what this is. Okay, it was that. Um, you just click whatever one you want to click, then click sideload to headset. And then you go back, it'll download. And then when you're done, you can unplug it from your headset and go in and you go to all apps. And then at the top right, you um, click the button and scroll down until you find unknown sources. And when you click that, there should be a file with the name of the app on there. And when you click it, you should be brought into the game. Most of them save. There's multiplayer games, there's custom homes, there's mods, whatever. There's a bunch of stuff on SideQuest. This is basically just anything. And I don't have a PC, so this is how I did it. And it works really well. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye!